This is looking a little funky with these uh, these polys now, a little bit stretched. So I'm gonna add another another uh, line here through these. Just cut these up so that they uh, so I can kind of smooth them out. So let's uh, oh, face select. It's not gonna work for me. Um, cut it right through those so we don't get this weird stretching in these ones. Eh, I take that back. That looks too, uh, too messy, so I'm not going to do that. Let's see, I'm going to just go to these, these guys that are really stretched and smooth vertex. Up six. That might make that a little bit a little bit nicer there. Um, if I look at the fish in shaded mode, in uh, smooth shaded mode, if you click shade, shade smooth, I'll look and see what this looks like if it, you see the stretched polys. You kind of can, so I feel like I need to uh, definitely cut those up somehow. Now, I definitely kind of want to get this mouth in here, because all fish have mouths, right? Grab everything, Shift D, and then move it to the last layer. Move over to that layer, Control J, put them all in one mesh. Control, go into edit mode, and uh, there's your whole fish. Control T to triangulate, and once again our mirror is on, so we need to apply that, and. We are literally, look at that, 1,500. That's unheard of, I think. It's too close. <laughs> um, in my mind's eye, uh, this fish's face looks a little too wide, so I'm going to try to uh, make that a little pointier now. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not allowed to add more polys at this point, so uh, we're pretty much done with the modeling. So just make this uh, this face a little bit, pull that together, and this is a great tool for the, or a great job for that uh, proportional editing. You can kind of pull that together, grab these, and once again, you don't want this line to connect on that uh, that edge. So. Maybe a little too pointed, huh? Maybe pull this 
ever so slightly out. And there we go. I guess that's kind of our fish. You might even want to go into sculpt mode here and zoom in. Kind of smooth those edges out. Um, you can see the dark thing right there in the center. It's obviously something came together too tight, so we need to turn our clipping off. Grab. So turn off my proportional editing. Pull that. Yeah, see, it was like something pulled together a little too tight there. Pull those down over here. Okay. Kind of looks like a beak. We might want to just front view. Uh, if you want to go bottom view, you can hit seven. Um, and then control plus seven actually does bottom. So uh, seven is top, and then control seven is bottom. Uh, one is front, control plus one is back. 3 is side, control plus 3 is the other side. So let's go to the bottom view. Kind of pull these in. It looks like I need to do a little bit of a smooth, hold shift, smooths those. I'm going to go into this guy, make these clip a little bit tighter. Now one thing I kind of failed to mention during the whole modeling of this fish is saving. You should, probably should be saving all the time I'm on a pretty stable machine, but Blender does crash occasionally. It's, it's pretty stable overall, but I have seen it crash. So uh, save this as, and I'm going to save this on my uh, desktop in here as tinselfish.blend okay save as your blender file and that about concludes this uh, the modeling section of this tutorial um, in the future tutorials we're gonna unwrap this guy and we are going to skin him give him uh, some pretty textures uh, we'll play with some normal maps and uh, We'll do yeah, all of that as well as uh, what else are we going to do? Maybe touch on our sculpting tools and go into that in a little more depth. And then uh, actually we're going to have to play with the uh, level of details and showing you how to build the sm lower level of details and how to remove polys. Uh, so you can have the, uh, the different level of detail models for uh, different uh, machines. But that's about it, and uh, thanks a lot, and we'll see you on our next tutorial. Thank you much. Bye.